Welcome to the video. Today's full day of eating video has been requested by a couple of people on my Instagram. So I'm going to be doing it, but it's going to be a little bit different. So I'll tell you why this is going to be a little bit different. I have not been tracking my macros of counting my calories during uh, the last maybe three, four months of this bulk. Um, and I thought it was kind of interesting to then do that on a full day of eating video. So intuitively eat for the day, which is what everybody does, intuitive eating, which is, you know, you eat until you're full um, and then you wait until your next meal and then you eat again. So I've had a less structured um, eating process, but I, I know in myself that I know I'm getting enough protein in because I've been doing the macros thing for a long time, so I kind of know well, that's of this many proteins, that's of this many this, that's of this many this. But do I know that and am I wrong in thinking that? So this would be kind of a good experiment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have an intuitive eating, but I'm going to write down everything that I have. And at the end of the day, we're going to calculate it all. So it's early Sunday morning. And the first thing I'm having is this coffee, which has almond milk in it. I'm not a huge fan of almond milk, but we don't have any normal milk. That being said, this is vanilla coffee and it does taste really, really good. So I'm going to put together my breakfast. I don't really know what I'm going to have. I'm thinking a bit of bacon, thinking a bit of cheese. And then I'll show you that. And then I'm going to get ready instead of wearing my uh, Batman uh, dressing gown. All right, let me, uh, let's get to it. So, I've got bacon sandwich. I didn't put cheese on it because I forgot. Um, and then I made some protein porridge, which I put protein vanilla quark in, which is like a low fat, um, high protein, almost like a yogurt, but it doesn't have this weird aftertaste. But it's good in porridge. And then some of this special Aldi jam. And this is, this is the breakfast. Mm. Oh. Okay, now it's time to try these oats. I'm going to mix it up. Mm. Supposedly it's going to rain around one o'clock-ish, so still wearing trousers. We're both ready and we're both going to get going, so... Hello! Alex has caught herself a cat, <laughs> so we're going to get going. We're going to take Alex's brand new shiny car. So we made it. We made it to Norfolk Heritage Park. Yeah. yeah, I got it right. I remembered. So we're here for the Jurassic World thing. So we're going to see some dinosaurs. So let's get into seeing some dinosaurs. So we're going to first grab some water and some stuff from the cafe. If they do ice cream, I'm going to grab that. So I'll show you that I'm getting an ice cream. <laughs> Um, Magnum Classic, can't beat it. Also got an iced tea, 
we just got sugar in, so I'll put this to calories at the end of the day. So now we need to get to this Jurassic World thing. Mm -hmm. So, that was a lot of fun. We saw a lot of dinosaurs. Just because you're an adult doesn't mean you can't go and look at dinosaurs, because we are, we're adults, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Technically. <laughs> yeah. It's a really nice park, so we're walking through it, and then we're gonna go back to the car. Oh, it is so hot. I'm gonna go to the Sheffield Town Centre. Let's go there now. wander around Sheffield that food was really really good um, only thing is I'm gonna probably struggle to calculate it accurately but we'll figure all that out later on see you later I don't actually know much about Sheffield this is the river, isn't it? No. No, this is not actually the river? No, I don't know anything. So we found some stuff so we can learn things that we didn't know on Sheffield. Making steel. We've got back to the car and Sheffield is awesome. It's absolutely dead though. So I think we're in like a student area and no students are around. So it's, the roads are quiet, no one was around, which is really nice because we got to see a lot of like the river, um, whatever that canal thing was next to the museum. And uh, we're going to get back to the house now and we're gonna transition there with something weird. And just... Cool. <sighs> so we made it back and it is warm. I will put this beer into my calories. Um, I'm hoping for around 3,000. Uh, anything above that, anything over four, and I'd be really surprised. Um, I'm hoping for around three. Mm. But I'm going to do some editing, not of this video, but of my Kaizen training video, which you should have already watched because I've got two videos to come before this one comes out. So I'm going to get on with that, and I hope you like that transition, and I'll catch you at the next meal. So, I've just finished uploading my 
Kaizen training, did it work? So you should have already seen that, guys. Um, so I literally edited that and uploaded that today on a Sunday. Um, I actually worked yesterday. This is my only day off this week. Not complaining, just pointing it out. Uh, so I'm not felt hungry since having that beer and now I am feeling a little hungry but I don't really have loads in the house to eat but I do have something that's kind of ridiculous to eat so I'm going to eat anyway which is this giant 16 ounce rump steak now I've got it sat waiting on the side because um, I like to season it let it get to room temperature before I fry it now I like my steaks rare and if you don't then you're wrong but it doesn't really matter that's how I like it so I've got some sweet potatoes in the oven and then I'm probably gonna wait until when they're done that will have rested long enough so sweet potato with some steak that's gonna be my last meal I'll show you when it's cooked it's about an hour later and the sweet potatoes are only just done. I basically just threw them in. So I've heated the pan up with some butter and I'm gonna get my giant steak. That's right. And I'm just gonna slap it on, so. Oh. Oh. Ah. So I made the steak and I let it rest. Uh, so literally I'm a steak and a potato. I haven't even got the sauces. So. Condiments are mustard and a different kind of mustard. So while I eat this, I'm going to get my phone, get the stuff and roll down. I'm going to try and calculate the calories and then I'll, I'll tell you the calories. I don't have my phone. Ta -da! This is the empty bottle that I left from before. Okay, so in this video, I haven't actually said like that I have an ileostomy bag, that I have crumbs, colitis, um, or I mentioned how it affects me with food, so I'm apologizing for that because this is about sharing what I do and what I live with. So yeah, I have an ileostomy bag, and um, all the food that I've eaten today does not bother it at all. There were some carrots, like just cut up carrots on my, um, like, what was it called? A teriyaki bowl uh, I just didn't eat it because if I did that would probably be a problem for me so I didn't eat it this no problem okay so before I fast forward through this I want to show I'm not checked this prior to you guys seeing it but this should be a rare steak and that's what that is it is just pink in the middle uh, difficult to do with such a large steak, but as you can see, like this is a steak knife, but if I get it the wrong way around, even the side that's not serrated is able to cut this. So my steak game has gone from like crappy pan frying all the way up to mm, usually I like to do butter and garlic, but I did the butter, but mainly I just put more pepper on it. It's a really peppery steak. Really going to enjoy this. And I'll calculate my day's calories and we'll see how fat I am. I forgot the notepad. So this is breakfast. Um, yeah, so fast forward now.
today came to 2,767 calories, which is 33 off 2,800, which is what I want to do each day. And okay, I've got 172 grams of protein um, because I do for one for one pound of body weight. So really should go off your lean body mass. And my lean body mass is probably around 150 to 160 pounds. Um, so 175 pounds while I'm bulking is perfect. So that's why that's that. 346 grams of carbohydrates. Now, I think that that's more. I think that I should probably add more rice because I think there's something that I've missed. Um, okay, it's 25 grams of fiber. That's probably mostly from the sweet potatoes. Sugar, I'm a little high on my sugar. Uh, no one cares about the grams of that though. Fat, 79 grams of fat. Still quite moderate, uh, average daily amount. Uh, I usually try for 62. Uh, cholesterol is under, sodium is probably over because of all the sodium I put on that. Vitamins, blah, 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 blah. no one cares about that. So, intuitive eating. Um, yeah, I think I've got it down pat. <laughs> Honestly, I'm so surprised. I thought I'd be way over three thousand calories, um, but that's what I, I I feel satisfied right now. I could probably have a banana or an apple or something, um, which may be why maybe my my carbs are like that. So, all of the food that I've shown today, I have no problem digesting. I have no problem. So, if you have an ileostomy and you're watching this and you have Crohn's or you have colitis, maybe try some of these foods out. Maybe try taking a day where you don't track what you eat. Um, or maybe this can show you that you probably should track what you eat because it's a huge benefit. Because if I had something that I ate that I that didn't agree with me, because I wrote it down in, and I have it in my phone, I know that I can go back and look at it and go, that's it, that's the culprit, that's the weird thing that I ate, and about this time I felt worse for it. So I think that's a benefit. Also, tracking all this at the end of the day was a right pain. It took longer than I thought, and I would have rather have just done it throughout the day, scanning, going, scanning, going. It is a lot easier. So that's the video, this full day of eating. I hope it's you've learned something. I hope you enjoyed some of my editing. I'm really trying to up that. I'm probably going to be getting a new camera soon. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. It does really help the channel. It tells me who's watching. It tells me, well, not who, but it tells me if you're enjoying the content I'm putting out. And, and I need to improve my content so that you guys learn something from me. And then I can then keep giving information to people who need it. If they don't need it, then that's fine. So, subscribe, like, and I'll catch you all in the next video, guys. Thanks very much. Bye.